200 units of free power that's one of the pole promises from the congress in karnataka while the idea seems to be taken straight out of arvind kejriwal's playbook the implementation in karnataka is not as simple as the delhi model the grah jyoti scheme will come into effect from july and will be reflected in the august bill the state government has already issued guidelines on june 5th who gets these free units how is the bill calculated we know a lot of you have questions but remember there are a few conditions who is eligible for this scheme at first look it would appear not everyone is and this is the main difference between how it is implemented in delhi versus how the karnataka government plans to implement it the government will first assess the eligibility of consumers by taking the annual average power consumption that is from july 2022 to july 2023 of a household with a 10% buffer on top of it if a household's consumption exceeds the annual average plus the 10% buffer but still falls within the 200 units they have to pay only for the additional units used confused here's an example if the annual average consumption of a household is 100 units they will be eligible for the free electricity up to 110 units if their consumption in a certain month goes up to 120 units they will have to pay for the 10 extra units in such cases a net bill will be generated so what will happen if a household's annual average consumption exceeds 200 units well they have to pay the entire electricity bill According to Chief Minister Siddaramaiah the government is taking the average of 12 months plus 10% to avoid misuse. What will happen if you have multiple RR numbers? If you look at any bill you will see an RR number. This is the customer ID. The scheme will be extended only to one meter per consumer. For instance if an individual has multiple revenue register or RR numbers linked to their name they can avail of the benefit for only one meter. Can tenants make use of this scheme? Yes, they can. Sidaramaiya on June 6 said tenants are also eligible to avail the Grah Jyoti scheme. Tenants can register the RR number of the house they are staying in and provide their Aadhaar number and a copy of rental agreement to avail the benefits of the scheme. Grah Jyoti scheme is applicable only to domestic connections. Also, the order does not mention anything about the inclusion of new buildings yet. Now, how can you avail the scheme? What are the guidelines? If you want to benefit from this scheme you will have to apply on the Seva Sindhu portal the dates to register on this portal are yet to be announced each beneficiary will be given a customer id or account id and they will have to link their aadhar mandatorily remaining electricity bills till june 30th should be cleared within 3 months and if you fail to do so it will lead to the disconnection of electricity the meter reading will be done mandatorily every month Existing beneficiaries of Bhagya Jyoti, Nirantara Jyoti and Kutira Jyoti which are electricity schemes which are available to the underprivileged will be merged under the new scheme. What will this cost the exchequer? This free power scheme will require 13000 crore annually. There are 2.14 crore household with revenue register numbers in the state and officials estimate that 96 to 98% of the households in Karnataka will qualify for the scheme. For more such content follow Deccan Herald on all social media platforms. Thank you.